We explain the greenhouse effect. Life is possible on this planet for a number of reasons. One of them is because we have the ideal temperature and conditions for life to exist. The ideal temperature and conditions are largely due to the presence of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, like carbon dioxide, methane and water vapour. Here is how it all works. The sun radiates heat energy through the atmosphere. This heat is absorbed by the earth and then re-radiated back through the atmosphere into space. Some of the outgoing heat is absorbed by the greenhouse gases, which provides the necessary temperature for life to exist on earth. So we need the greenhouse gases. They provide us with a cozy greenhouse, but this is not the end of the story. The problem comes in when there is too high a concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Industries and transport all contribute to the release of carbon dioxide into the air. And so the concentration of carbon dioxide has increased in the atmosphere over time. The more greenhouse gases, the more heat is absorbed and retained in the atmosphere. This unnatural increase in the temperature of the atmosphere is known as the enhanced greenhouse effect. With more heat in the atmosphere comes more evaporation. Consequently, there is more water vapour in the air too, contributing to global warming, climate change and extreme weather conditions. The enhanced greenhouse effect also causes increased ocean temperatures. This also results in more water vapour being released into the atmosphere. This contributes to extreme weather events around the globe. We have more intense hurricanes, longer hurricane seasons, extreme flooding, severe droughts and wildfires occurring in areas where they historically do not occur. So the greenhouse effect in itself is normal and essential for life on Earth. It gives the perfect conditions for plants and animals to thrive. However, the enhanced greenhouse effect has led to global warming and thereby to a dangerous degree of climate change.